Companies from Poland, Japan and Ukraine signed letters of intent to construct a green industrial zone in Bucha, Ukraine. Bucha in the Kiev region of Ukraine was occupied by Russian troops in the spring of 2022 and has become a symbol of Russian crimes, including those against civilians. During the occupation, the infrastructure, transmission networks, private and public buildings were destroyed. According to the agreement, Bucha is donating the areas around the city for the purposes of the green industrial zone, which will cover an area of 3,000 hectares. Poland-based hydrogen technology company Hinfra and Japan's ammonia production specialist Tsubame BHB Corporation, in a partnership with Ukraine energy company UTEM, will build a solar and wind energy-powered green hydrogen and ammonia cluster in Bucha City to ensure energy independence. Right now, the partners are preparing project objectives which will be followed by a feasibility study, according to the letters of intent signed. Green hydrogen and ammonia produced here will be used for electricity, fuel and fertilizers. Electricity produced will be used for local consumption. Roles of all the partners are cut out for the project. The city of Bucha will provide land. Hinfra will prepare the concept and design. Tsubame will provide its technology for building safe green ammonia energy storage facilities. And UTEM will be responsible for development and construction of the green zone. We stimulate economic development as part of green reindustrialization, which Ukraine needs badly for recovery, said Hinfra CEO Tomorrow. However, another key aspect of this project is security and resilience of the city's energy, heating and fuel systems in the face of terrorist practices of the Russian Federation. Hinfra said the Bucha project is being developed on a model similar to its project in the Polish town of Sanok, which along with local government, it wants to turn into the first hydrogen city in Poland. This will be the first project of this kind in Ukraine. It is strategically important from the point of view of our energy independence. It will allow our city to have its own alternative energy sources, said Anatoly Fedoruk, mayor of Buta, during the signing ceremony.